So when it comes to the opioid controversy and the opioid epidemic throughout the United States, I'm not exactly in favor of creating the next molecule for pain management treatment. The program that we have at the hospital I work at, our interdisciplinary team is really about integrating multiple modalities to affect change, especially when it comes to chronic pain patients. So while we do do a fair amount of medication management and optimization, that's not the only method of treatment that we have for this opioid crisis that we're facing. Uh, we integrate um, complementary and alternative medicines and modalities of treatment such as acupuncture, tai chi, yoga, along with our psychological group that does mindfulness meditation, pain coping strategies, and really um, goal processing. So, in our approach to this crisis, we're really taking it through an integrative approach. What we mean by a safety net hospital is that we are obligated to take care of the most vulnerable patients as well as indigent patients, regardless of their method of payment. Our program uh, welcomes all types of patients. So in most of these programs that have been evolved through the workers' comp model, when we talk about a functional restoration program, it's very limited and the patients that are exposed to it are have a payer source, which is usually workmen's compensation. Our program takes that model, expands it, and allows county patients, county hospital patients, to join our group. So we expand the scope and expand the modality of treatment, accepting all the patients that um, are within our network.